Hey, everybody. Uh, as I think everybody knows, there are a lot of enormously important issues facing the country that have got to be dealt with here in Congress. And I'm talking about rebuilding our economy to protect the working families of this country. I'm talking about climate change. We're talking about health care for all. We're talking about making sure that young people do not leave school deeply in debt. We're talking about the fight for racial justice, the need for real immigration reform, you name it. There are a lot of issues that are out there. But there is one issue, in my view, that is more important than any other issue and impacts every concern that we have. And that is the struggle to maintain democracy in the United States of America. Hard to believe that I have to say that. But right now we're in a moment in history where we have got the fight to protect and expand democracy in the United States of America. Uh, sadly, it is no secret that over the last number of years, the Republican Party has ceased to be a conservative party uh, and has rather become an authoritarian cult which propagates big lies and conspiracy theories. That's really what the Republican Party has become. No, Donald Trump did not win the election, despite what many of my colleagues here in Congress are saying. Uh, yes, climate change is real and it is caused by human activity. Yes, wearing masks prevents the spread of the COVID-19 virus. In addition to spreading lies and conspiracy theories, state Republican parties all across this country are working overtime to suppress the vote, to make it harder for people of color, low-income people, young people to participate in the political process. They are hounding honest election officials whose only crime is that they conducted honest elections. And in many state legislatures, they are working on these crazy, extreme, gerrymandered districts in order to re protect Republican uh, candidates. So as we go forward in fighting for the progressive agenda, please do not for one second forget that at the heart of everything that we do is the need not only to protect democracy in this country, but to expand democracy so that every person in America has the right to participate in the political process, to vote, to express his or her view without fear or harassment. So let's go forward and protect democracy. Let's go forward and expand democracy. Thank you all very much.